right now. Police have cleared out that pro-Palestinian protest camp at George Washington University. Joy Wang is live on the breaking details. She's been out there all morning. Joy. We just got an update from MPD. They said that there were multiple arrests made for unlawful entry as well as assault on police. And so right now the protesters here, they're actually gathering together in order to head to where those protesters are after they have been arrested. They said that their plan is to rally and try to get them processed as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, the scene that we're standing right here, you can see that there's a lot of water on the ground or the ground seems wet and that is because a number of protesters were actually sprayed. In fact, we saw pushing back and forth along a police line. That police line is actually still in place right now. So we're going to start heading in that direction. But here's what we know so far. Multiple arrests have been made. Organizers telling me that they believe it's 29 or more. MPD not really confirming any of that information yet in terms of the number of arrests that have been made. There were student medics on scene, volunteers on scene, and we also know that the police lines going along multiple blocks around the university are still in place. So that's where we're heading right now to show you what we are seeing. A very heavy police presence out here this morning. It started just after three o'clock this morning when they began clearing out the encampment. And so you can see this area is still blocked off by police officers with their bikes. At one point, they were yelling, hold the line to each other because there was pushing back and forth between the protests. And then that's when the pepper spray came out. And so so multiple protesters also had water kind of flushing their eyes out because they had been sprayed. In fact, my photographer, Mike Rudd, who's behind the camera right now, he was also sprayed in the process as well. He could feel it in his lungs. You could feel it in the air. All of this happening a little over an hour ago. But as you can see, still that very heavy police presence. And again, multiple arrests have been made this encampment being cleared out just after three o'clock this morning. And so we are still working on gathering more information. We have a photographer heading to the scene right now where we're told those protesters have been arrested. And so as soon as we learn more, we'll let you know. For now live here near the George Washington University encampment, Joy Wang, 7 News. All right, Joy, thank you for that. And a live look at Capitol Hill, where by the way, today the mayor and the DC police chief will testify before House lawmakers about the pro-Palestinian encampment at George Washington University. And this comes after a Washington Post report late last month that GW officials requested MPD go in and clear that encampment shortly after it began. But MPD declined. Seven News spoke with an organizer about the hearing. Here's what she had to say. Um, it certainly aligns with the university's continued attempts to use outside actors to attempt to repress this speech, uh, specifically uh, Congress people that have continued uh, to support the exertion of force against students uh, that are exhibiting their right to protest uh, against genocidal conditions that universities are continuing to fund. Uh, so it's something that we are aware of and it is something that we are frankly disgusted by. Oh, make sure you stay with 7 News for complete coverage of the hearing on the Hill. 7 News anchor Scott Thuman will be live covering the House Oversight hearing and the testimony from the D.C. Mayor and Police Chief. Now, we'll also uh, have a live stream of the hearing at WJLA.com.